Hello, happy March 11th. This is called the Day of Progressive Intuition. And if you were born on this day, I wish you a happy birthday. I hope you've had an awesome one. And I also wish that you have an amazing year to come. Today, we are going to be reading from The Secret Language of Birthdays, Your Complete Personology Guide to Each Day of the Year by Gary Goldschneider and Eust Elfers. Link is in the description if you'd like to purchase this book. So let's get right into it. Let's see here. Month, March, day 11. Your sign is 19 to 21 degrees Pisces. You are a Pisces 3 sun sign, first day of Pisces 3, and you're a mutable water sign. Those born on March 11 keep abreast of the times, whether liberal or conservative in outlook, they are progressive in thought. That is, they know that to be out of touch with or unaware of what is going on socially around them is perhaps to say goodbye to one's career. They see the world as a highly competitive place where only the quick and clever survive. In their private lives, however, they allow themselves to express the dreamier, more relaxed side of their nature, chewing over ideas and speculation through conversation with friends and family, and perhaps developing imaginative projects. In both areas of their life, however, the unifying talent which they employ is their intuition, for which the most part serves them well. March 11 people believe that if they stand still in the world, they are going backwards, since others will simply leave them behind. They are nonetheless moderately, rather than fiercely ambitious, moving ahead with assurance and clarity of vision. Should they work a regular job, they will put themselves in a position in which they can be promoted, but may not actively push or politic for it, politic or politic for it. Their idea is that by making valuable contributions, they will be noticed and advanced at the right time. Whether this is a correct assumption or not may depend on the fairness of their work environment and the culture in which they live. If they are self-employed or own their own business, they have a decided talent for seeing a hidden opportunity and going for it. Once they have assessed such an opportunity, they will not hesitate to put a sizable part of their material resources in the service of their intuitions. Thus, they make good investors and gamblers, since they are courageous enough to take educated risks, but wise enough to avoid foolish endeavors. Another trait which serves them well is their taste. They not only have an instinctive feeling for what is good and worthwhile, but also are quick to learn about what makes objects or ideas valuable. Some March 11 people can even select items which appear phony or cheap, but later prove to have great worth. March 11 people have a claiming and controlling aspect to their personality. They don't part with what they have very easily, and that goes for people as well as for things. As family members, they invariably find themselves in the center of what is going on, where they can exercise powerful decisions affecting the lives of both their parents and children. They must avoid arousing antagonism and rebellious, rebelliousness in the latter, who may wish to have a greater degree of freedom or independence. In many areas, March 11 people could learn to let go a bit more, to relax their control over their environment. More highly evolved individuals born on this day will learn to trust the universe and to realize that, in essence, nothing is really lost, thus, f uh, thus freeing themselves by renouncing a claiming attitude. Ultimately, their intuition will lead them to value their own freedom more than either possessions or personal control. I love that. Numbers and Planets. Those born on the 11th of the month are ruled by the number 2, 1 plus 1 equaling 2, and by the moon. Since those ruled by the number 2 often make good co-workers and partners rather than leaders, the social talents of March 11 people may be enhanced. Because Pisces is ruled by Neptune, March 11 people come to under a moon-Neptune connection, which grants strong intuitions, but also a propensity for runaway imagination. The number 11 lends a feeling for the physical plane, as well as a possible interest in doubles of various kinds. I think that's the first time they've ever 
given credit to 11 just as 11. It's a master number, right? I like it. <clears throat> In tarot, the 11th card of the major arcana is justice. A serene, seated woman holding the scales in one hand and a sword in the other. She reminds us of the order of the universe and that balance and harmony will be maintained in our lives as long as we continue on our path. The positive aspects of this card are integrity, fairness, honesty, and discipline. The negative aspects are low initiative, impersonality, fear of innovation, and grievances. In health, those born on March 11 are usually very aware of how they look and are anxious to make a good impression. Consequently, they will need to take particular care of their skin, hair, nails, and teeth. Seeing that they get the proper vitamins as well as using the proper cosmetic aids is essential to their efforts in this area. March 11 people often make excellent cooks and can enjoy entertaining the right people in their homes, thus combining business and pleasure. Their aesthetic sensitivity to food and presentation is usually strongly marked. All substances that produce mucus, such as cheeses, particularly rich ones, should be eaten in moderation. March 11 people must be particularly careful not to go overboard on cream, butter, and sugar. Vigorous exercise is recommended for those born on this day, but competitive sports should be avoided. Advice. Deepen your thoughts and feelings. Do not be too concerned with tangible goals. Put more energy into your spiritual development. Don't be afraid to let things go. And then the meditation of the day is, imagine, imagine having to carry everything you own. Ooh, I've imagined that before. I've met people who do that. Interesting. All right, so if you were born on this day, your strengths could be that you are shrewd, tasteful, or charming. And your weaknesses could be that you are possessive, claiming, or domineering. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, to those born on this day, Amarius Petipa, P-E-T-I-P-A, early French-Russian classical ballet choreographer, original choreographer for Tchaikovsky's Swan Lake and Sleeping Beauty, Ralph D. Abernathy, NAACP head. Rupert Murdoch, Australian U.S. newspaper magnate, London Times, Sunday Times, and Sky TV owner. Dorothy Schiff, a New York Post owner, publisher, and heiress. Bobby McFerrin, a jazz singer. Raoul Walsh, a film director in White Heat or of White Heat and The Naked and the Dead, producer and actor. Dorothy Gish, a stage and silent film actress, sister of Lillian Gish. Harold Wilson, a British prime minister. Antonin Scalia, Supreme Court justice. Antonin? I'm not sure. Alfred Lowenstein, a financier. Lawrence Welk, a TV band leader and host. Douglas Adams, a British science fiction writer of A Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Mercer Elling Ellington, a jazz trumpeter, composer, and Ellington band leader, Duke's son, writer of Duke Ellington in person, Robert Mossbacher, a commerce secretary and sailor, Sam Donaldson, a TV journalist and host, Claude Jutra, Jutra a French Canadian director of Man. Oh no. It's O N C L E. Oh, Mon. Mon Occle Antoine. Mon Occle Antoine. Suffered from Alzheimer's disease at age 57. Found in St. Lawrence, Lawrence River. Tor, Torquato Tasso, an Italian 16th century poet. Madeline McWinnie, a banking executive. Julius Bluthner a German piano manufacturer. And then we have Kenneth H. Miller, a New York painter and etcher. Juicy. Well, I hope that it could, could expand your understanding if you were born on the stair, if you knows, or if you know those who were. Take it with a grain of salt, right? It's pretty interesting though. I love these reads. 
So um, if you're interested in the Daily Oracle, it will be linked below once that's all completed. And we'll end out with this beautiful meditation one more time. Imagine having to carry everything you own. Awesome. Whenever you come across this, I hope you're having a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Mwah. Thank you so much.